Slacky. Go ahead. All right. I have Slacky. Verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them. And neither. so that's not a man of the Lord, man. That, that fag is not a man of the Lord. Huh? And he don't come out in the winter time. I mean, the spirit getting on him. So the, the Lord ain't command you. That's why you don't go out during the winter. He said even 30 degrees, yeah. too. He don't come out during the winter. He's a, he's a uh, part-time Israelite. Part-time Israelite. So his, his congregation is left. The shepherd is gone. And he's not occupied in prophecy. Yeah. The scriptures yep. tell you he's supposed to be occupied in prophecy. Yep. So, you know what I mean? He's a false prophet. I commanded them, neither slack it. I, I've sent them not, neither have I commanded them. Neither spake unto them, they prophesy unto your false vision and divination, a thing of naught, and deceit of their heart. So he's he's, he's deceitful too, God. deceitful of, of his heart, because he's telling you too that the microchip and the mark of the beast is not the microchip. So his his people, his followers, are gonna get the chip. That's it. This is uh, this is what looks like. Just, Just more, yeah, one more. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, I sent them not, yet they saw. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in the land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Woo! So he gonna die, he gonna lose all that weight by the very same yeah. things that he ain't speaking he about. Denying. The very same yeah. things he's gonna be taken yeah. by, man. That's yeah. beautiful. That just goes to show you the might and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Yeah. I got something to come right with it. Right. This is wisdom of Solomon 7 and 17. For he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely, to know how the world was made and the operation of the elements. The beginning, ending, and the midst of the times. So we had them same understandings as Solomon because we know that the so-called white man, he got a certain amount of time to rule, but we're in the end of his rulership. So we know about the end times. And the end times consist of the so-called white man being taken out of power, man. And the uplifting of Israel. He might as well start Speak if he, if he don't teach it yet that Esau can be saved, man, because that's the type of spirit he's in. And he said we ain't gonna get out of here no time soon. We ain't in the right spirit. I watched your video. Mm. Yeah, he's a demon, man. He said, he said uh, yeah, you guys. Basically, he's saying that by us coming out here prophesying during the winter time, it's not profitable. But that's part of our faith, man. Remember, I came in in the winter time, right? I came in in Jan uh, January. Yeah, it was not, it was, it was cold. It's cold as hell, actually. Yeah, Shit. Yeah. That's why you you sit on your couch during the winter time and, and think that the Lord ain't coming because you're not out here during the cold. So you you basically you prolong it. You hold enough progress like the elders would say. Saying, well, he ain't progressing anyway because he ain't got no fruit. He ain't got. He hasn't built up camps. No men are being built up under that man. Saying he only got like you know what I mean? he got women followers and he got a few few little readers with him. Saying. He sold out. That was it. I got one more. All right. Jeremiah 14 and 16. And the people to whom they prophesied shall be cast out in the streets. I'll read that again. Jeremiah 14 and 16. And the people to whom they prophesied shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. So his followers won't get the same fate too. That the people he prophesied listening to him and thinking, okay, the chip is not the, I mean, the micro, mark of the beast is not the microchip. They're going to be cast down the street too. That's right. Of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. And they shall have none to bury them, neither their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. And that's another thing too. He's all in that wife, uh, family matters type of husband spirit too. He loved it. Talking about we don't love our wives. We don't have no wives, be quite frank with you, man. No man in the truth really have a, a, a wife, a qualified wife, man, according to the Bible. That's man. right, man. Yeah, a sincere wife. She just a, she's a vessel the Lord used for us to, from time to time to get pleasure, maybe get, a, a, you know what I mean, ride a little bit money here and there, and vice versa, too. So any any woman you deal with, you got to help them out, too. Yeah, the it, it, this, this, this woman ain't in the right spirit, man. This woman ain't in the right spirit. Right? Uh, there ain't no virtu virtuous women. What did Solomon say, man? Yeah, and he got it. That's crazy, man. Among all them <laughs> women, he didn't find found one. But at least all them men, he found one. So there you go. Well, a woman, a woman. Yeah. Damn. Yo, man. 
and then the, 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 the more I'm, I'm, I'm mature, you know, yeah. and the more I'm, you know, I deal with different women and, and see the way they be acting and all that, man. Yo, everything that the elders say about these women is true. Yeah. You know, that's one thing to agree. It's another thing to experience the same thing. Those elders, the elders are second, man. Yeah. You, you can't deny it. So you'll be surprised. Scripturally, scripturally and, 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 and when, when you go through it, man, everything aligns. You know, everything is in alignment. You know, these, these women are really young, man. Women are not smart at all. You know, which is why they're not even on a level to teach. Yeah, they, they're not even, they, they're not, the Lord don't even bring them on a level to teach other women in this society right now. Oh, that's that's true. Well, how do you, women teach their daughters yeah, or whatever, not how to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah they don't teach their, teach their daughters proper hygiene, nope. how to conduct herself as a virtuous woman, being shame faced as, oh, how to cook. All the good and great qualities of a woman is not being taught. Yep. They're basically being taught how to be better, or so-called better than a man, that's it. Or how to have more authority than a man. Yep. They're teaching their daughters how to be gold diggers. Yep. How to be gold diggers, there you go. That's right. But love your wife. And not let a man control them. And this and that, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, I had to eat for my old head friend. You know, she, she, she used to get uh, kids in the neighborhood together and teach them how to shake their ass and shit. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, like this nasty ass so that's horrors, man. In society, about them shaking. Their, I mean, it's profitable for a long, for a short stint. Cause when they when they shaking their ass, they gonna get gifts from men. A lot of men gonna be buying them things, taking them out to dinner. And I'm saying, like, even buy them apartments and houses too. I'm saying if they look good. Yeah, I got a cousin that's yeah. getting taken care of like yeah, that. They get taken care of. They get yeah. sugar daddies. Yeah. So that's sugar why that yeah. black woman, that's her motive. She ain't gonna try to come on the level of the Israelite woman of this suffering that we we in captivity. So she don't. She trying to get out of the captivity. And of course she gonna get out of the captivity because she's a woman. She's a weaker vessel. So she's still in captivity, but she gonna try to make her captivity like 14th Street Israelite comfortable, comfortable. Yeah. But you still the, the white man don't love you. These other nations don't love you. They using the, they use you for your box or your booty. And they, then they cast you out, out in the yeah. street. Uh -huh. Okay, when your body running down and run over and you're 40 years old, then you come running to them churches. That's yeah. right. The uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 26 and 25, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. Yeah. But she that is shame-faced will fear the Lord. Yeah. And our women are not shame-faced on this side, man. Even Mr. Um, you prophets that claim you got wives, your woman ain't shame-faced, man. She proud. And the only reason why she with you is because the going, the going ain't got rough on you right now. The Lord is basically he ain't beating your ass right now like he should. And now I ain't gonna say like he should, but he's just allowing you to build up so he can destroy you publicly. You know what I mean? The Ecclesiastes 26 and 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. Mm -hmm. Yep. So your wife is wicked because you wicked. Your doctrine is wicked. So we know that your woman is wicked because you teaching that the mark of the beast. You ain't teaching the name of the Lord. You teaching that the mark of the beast is, is basically philosophy or a belief system. Or an embargo. Yeah, embargo. Christianity. Yeah. Yep. You teach it like it, it's a spiritual thing.